This is Tank's Vlog for October 30th, 2017, wrapping up the day in sports. Monday Night Football saw the Denver Broncos continue to struggle. Five turnovers as the Kansas City Chiefs bounced back from two straight hard block losses to win 29-19. The Chiefs are now fully in control of the AFC West with a 5-2 lead with the rest of the division below 500. The Broncos, who started off well, have not been playing well as of late. It's their third straight loss for the Broncos, and they have clearly big problems on offense. And things don't look too good for the Broncos in the future. They have to go to Philadelphia next week. The Chiefs, meanwhile, at 5-2, and two, are in command, and they have to play the Cowboys. And as of right now, it looks like the Cowboys will not have Ezekiel Elliott for the next six games, as he's, the suspension's back on. It's off, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. It's on, it's off, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's on. It's off, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on. This is what you get when you have a moron as a commissioner. I'm starting to sense there could be a coup d'etat in the NFL. Not only do the players associates hate Roger Goodell, but now some owners are starting to turn against him. His contract extension is, which seemed like a fait accompli recently, is now starting to look like some t some owners are trying to hold it up. I think the NFL would be. I think it's time the NFL faces the reality that Goodell must go. Now. I don't know the facts of this Ezekiel Elliott case, but to me, how can a player be suspended when he's found not guilty or not charged in a court of law? I think the NFL has got to look d deeply at this. I, I Maybe he, he did this abuse thing. I don't think Ezekiel Elliott's a good guy, necessarily. I don't think he's, I don't think he's innocent here. But I think it's time that if that if if you the, the NFL has to just start doing it like this, if you're convicted in a court of law, then you get suspended. It's it's the only fair thing to do. NBA, how about them Knicks? Three straight wins. They're playing really good. Uh, Christoph Porzingis, all of a sudden, has really taken to the leadership role that the Knicks desperately need him to take. Uh, not a great performance tonight by Porzingis. I tell you that if Porzingis is, if this is a sign of things to come, the Knicks might actually be reasonably a good team to watch. Tonight they beat the Denver Nuggets 116-110 in a second of a back-to-back -back night. So that makes it even all the more remarkable. Celtics hosted the uh, Spurs and got a nice win against the Spurs. So even without uh, Gordon Haywood, the Celtics are hanging tough. Kyrie Irving, another great game today. 5-2 and two start for uh, Boston. Timberwolves are off to a good start. Ben Simons is helping the uh, 76ers play good basketball so far. Uh, so you got some good, uh, a lot of teams going off to good starts. Dallas Mavericks, they're not off to a good start at all. Warriors, they, after struggling the uh, last couple of days, made a big statement today with a 141-113 win over the Clippers. They just see the Clippers and they just... I mean, it, they were salivated to decide the Clippers because they just beat them. They beat them to the tarnation. I mean, they, they. It's like a nice feast of food. It's like a Thanksgiving dinner. It's like they carve up the Clippers like a nice turkey. NHL. Uh, 
Vegas Golden Knights lost for just a second time in Brooklyn today. Good game by the, the Islanders. Islanders are playing good hockey. And the Arizona Coyotes, congratulations! You've won a game! And you don't get to finish October without a win. So, thumbs up, Arizona! Blue Jackets beat the uh, Bruins in a shootout. Canelians all over the Senators. Lightning struck down the Panthers in the Battle of Florida. Tampa's off to a terrific start. Blues beat the Kings. St. Louis off to a good start. Stars edged the Canucks. Sharks edged the Maple Leafs. Today's three stars are Christos Porzingis of the Knicks, Travis Kelsey of the Chiefs, and Steven Stamkos of the Lightning. Today's birthday shout-out goes to a pitcher that was absolutely frightful to watch, Steve Traxel. Oh, Steve Traxel, I'm having flashbacks. Throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. I mean, Steve Traxel had that baseball in his hand. It was like contemplating the meaning of life. Do I throw this pitch? Look at the stitches on this baseball. How many stitches on this baseball? Meanwhile, fans are in the stands going. <sighs> Today's uh, on the state look back goes to one of the biggest trades in NFL history. A, a ten-player, three-team deal that sent Eric Dickerson from the Rams to the Colts. And of course, Tuesday is Game 6 of the World Series. Astros have a chance to close out their first championship with Justin Verlander on the mound. And of course, it's Halloween. And I leave you with a song. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. Sports Encyclopedia. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween from the Sports Encyclopedia. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. Sports Encyclopedia. Have a good day.